on the internet. Remember last year I showed you a quilt that I was working on where I was taking a whole bunch of orphan blocks and trying to combine them together into a coherent quilt. And where I got up to was I had a finished quilt top, but I still needed to quilt it. Well, for about the last six months or so, I have been quietly working away on quilting it. Do you want to see what I did?
quilting is, in a way, just as mismatched as the blocks are. I quilted each block on its own, using whatever quilting design the shapes in the block inspired, and then I surrounded each block with some sort of border design, often interrupted by the border of the neighbouring block. But I did keep some commonality across all the blocks. Each is stitched in the ditch around the outside, and then with an echo line a quarter inch out. Then outside the border, I did another quarter inch echo. And I repeated similar motifs across similar blocks, to sort of tie them together a bit. So there is some order hidden in the chaos. Having the borders intersecting and running into each other was deliberate. I wanted the blocks to have frames, like each was its own wee work of art, but also to have the feel that they'd been abandoned, cluttered together like a pile of old pictures in the back of a second-hand shop, haphazardly leaning against each other. And I think I achieved that feel. to quilt and I had a lot of stops and starts while I tried to decide what to do with each element but I actually really enjoyed the quilting process. I got to try out lots of new ideas and I got to expand my skills a bit. It, it was all just fun and I think what I ended up with it has a kind of coherence to it. I like it. I hope that you enjoyed watching the process of the quilting and seeing what it's possible to make out of a whole load of totally mismatched and random orphan quilt blocks. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment and I will see you next time. Kakite anō internet. Mm -hmm.